Today we're checking out over 10 knives that superheroes would carry and we're going to start it off with the Max Ace Gila. This is a folding scythe. Now, this is not a gas station knife. This is not a cheap, um, what you would call a weapon or whatever you want to call it. This is made of premium materials. We have M390 Super Steel with a titanium frame lock, full titanium backspacer, a hardened steel lock bar insert for the lock bar so it has, you know, um, a nice solid lockup without creating stick or anything like that. It has a titanium mill pocket clip, full titanium backspacer, nice big stop pins, and multiple forms of deployment. You can actually front flip this open or use the side of your finger. And it's actually a very satisfying knife to open up because the blade doesn't open up all the way. You know, it only opens up partial. So it feels really cool when you open it, just, you know, how rapidly it gets into action. But this is, you know, somewhat of like a folding sickle, a hawkbill, harpooned hawkbill blade. Um, these are titanium studs here that you can thumb or reverse flick. Another thing that's really cool is this actually does come with a place to put a pin so you can lock it all the way open. You take this pin right here and you just screw it in right there after you open it and it'll prevent it from closing. So now if you were going to use it in a sort of way that it could possibly, you know, have lock failure, you, you it won't. It'll be basically almost like a fixed blade. Next is the Titano from PMP Knives, the PMP Titano. This is a crazy looking knife. It's one of the widest knives I've ever had or ever, you know, um, owned. It's so thick and wide in that direction, but the blade is actually pretty slicey. This would be considered, you know, somewhat of like a hard use tool. Now, it has premium materials. We have a titanium frame lock with a steel lock bar insert on the titanium frame lock, titanium pocket clip, full titanium backspacer, somewhat of like an attitude adjuster back there. Um, the, the titanium is done and machined extremely well right there. That little thing right there is a lock bar stabilizer. So it helps it not, you know, unspring. You have flipping action on this M390 blade, fall shut action, as you can see. And then you have a hole deployment. The blade is somewhat of a chisel, not, not chisel grind. It's almost like a razor in a way, but it's something that you could stab into something. You could pry, you can chop, you can definitely chop things with it. And yeah, just a crazy looking knife it almost looks like a knife like batman would carry or something like that just because of it being all black i do believe there is other color options though and because it has a pocket clip this is something you can easily carry you know what since we brought up the gila from max ace the scythe we have another scythe this one a bit more larger and it's using a crossbar lock you can top flip it. You can also use this somewhat as, you know, may maybe some sort of a, you know, an, an impact weapon. You have these little spikes back here. As you can see, these are very, very different in size. But swing this one out like that. If you're not under a camera, it's pretty easy. As you can see, the size is massively different. This one's for pocket carry. This one's for backpack carry, <laughs> or however, you know, a superhero would carry it. But the the lockup is a crossbar lock, which is known to be a nice, strong locking system. Um, I have tested this, and, you know, if you smack it down on, that, on the nose that direction, it can actually fail. This company usually sends pins to prevent any, um, you know, any case of closing. But if you use it as you're supposed to, where you go straight down with the tip, going straight down like that, all the pressure goes towards the stop pin. And it will not fail in that case. Very ergonomic, very wieldy. You know, you just feel like you want to chop and slice and, and catch things, you know, because this is definitely going to be something that you can catch and kind of rake things in. But yeah, very, very cool. And, you know, these 
you know, were originally, um, I believe, garden tool, you know, basically garden tools, you know, for like chopping down, you know, grass and things like that. But as we know, any tool made for chopping of any sort can be used as a weapon. Next, we have some knives from Up Knife, and these are basically gravity spikes. You push this button right there, launch it forward, and then just flick your wrist, and it will lock out. This one does have an edge on it. You can see that nice shiny edge on there, so it is very sharp. These are able to be attached to Picatinny rails for rifles and shotguns and things like that. So you can actually use them as somewhat of like a bayonet. Um, and, you know, they seem to work pretty good. This one, being a folding sigh, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little less practical. But hey, man, I think it's pretty damn cool. And it actually operates really, really well. They, he does make these in all different kinds of materials. He even has some with clips. I actually have one with a clip. I should have brought it out. Um, I have a bunch of different versions of this. So, you know, there is a lot of different, basically, flavors, just depending on your style, your carry, what you want, and also how much money you want to spend. Because he even has some all the way down to a little bit more affordable ones that you can get. Uh, they're still made out of metal, but he also has G10 ones for, like, training and things like that or combination ones. But yeah, the Up Knife has some really cool stuff. Very interesting stuff. He uh, Go check out his Instagram page. He shows a lot of the stuff he has being used, you know, and actually in use. So it is pretty damn cool. But I could totally see a superhero whipping this out and throwing it into something or, or possibly getting into somewhat of a, a knife fight with it or even using it on the front of a weapon as a bayonet. Okay, the next knife is from Icon Knives. And you see it does come with a leather sheath, spot for a little uh, stone to sharpen up the knives. Now, I actually have a bit more of a practical one we're gonna check out here in a second. So, this is obviously, you know, a little crazy. I would never want these. I don't even know what they're for. Maybe grappling hooks or something. But this is definitely something you see, like Rambo carrying or something like that. They do come off, so you can, you know, choke up real nicely. Um, this guard right here will save you, you know, from, from maybe other weapons or anything like that. Um, this, you know, be being that it's um, it's somewhat of a stick tang because this does have a tube here, so you can put you know little survival things in there, you know basically store stuff. It does have a solid aluminum handle, and these are pretty durable, but they're not going to be, in my opinion, for hard use impact as far as like batoning, chopping, and stuff like that. This is more of a fighter's knife. So like a clip point buoy is kind of supposed to be. This is a, a fighting style knife in many cases the back right here is sharpened so you know you can um, cut downward like this but in this case it's just the front edge and then it has somewhat of like a saw blade on the back um, regardless if you know you'd call that a saw blade and they both have serrations this one is in a damascus um, i forget the steel used in the damascus and then this one oh man i forget the steel. i'll put it up on the screen what steel it is but Check this out. Now, this one I would use for hard use and fighting. So, this one's a little bit more practical, I would say. And the reason why is because it is a full tang, meaning the, the blade, look how thick this blade is too. All the way down through the handle. This thing is an absolute tank. 100% hard use. Um, this is obviously a fighting style knife for, for uh, you know, plunging into things and, and slicing and chopping things. But because it is such a thick, heavy duty piece of steel, it's basically going to be indestructible. Now, this one doesn't have the, um, the screws for the spikes, which, you know, like I said, I'm not sure if the spikes would really even come in hand. But the sheath is actually really good quality. And yeah, this is from Icon Knives. So this is a prototype. And then I think he has these ones coming out here pretty soon. This is not my full video on them. I just wanted to show them because I thought this would be an interesting video for them. But I do have a full video coming on these very soon. 
Now, speaking of the Bowie style fighting knives, here we have a gas injection knife. So this is a gas powered knife. Basically, you can loosen this up and drop a CO2 cartridge inside the handle. And then once you put it in there, you screw the handle back on and it gets filled with air. And if you look at the tip right here, you can see where the air comes out. So you can actually get multiple strikes with this. So as long as you let go of the button, the air will stop. But whatever you plunge this into and hit that button, it will explode basically it'll be pumped full of freezing ice cold air and co2 and it will expand and blow up whatever you know it hits these were originally designed for shark attacks because underwater the um the oxygen well the way i've read it is that the oxygen would help pull the shark away from you it'd kill it instantly instant kill but then the blood would freeze because the the the, the co2 is so cold and then also the air would make it like kind of float away from you um so there's not blood you know the blood that does wind up coming out maybe all around you not sure if it'll do all that but i will say it will blow things up that's for damn sure this is definitely not a cutting tool you know if you were underwater and had a rope wrapped around you you could probably saw it um saw it off of you you know maybe even like using the serrations but it's so thick, as you can see, this is basically, you know, for poking purposes only. But, hey, it was built for shark attacks. But I'll tell you what, this will take out just about any, any sort of big game animal um, instantly. Next is the Mermaid, which is a OTF, an automatic OTF that has multiple buttons on it. So you can use it in the, basically the karambit grip or just where your finger's in the ring. So you can spin it and things like that. Um, but then you can put it back in or out in reverse or in the forward grip. Now, most OTFs like this are like that, where it's only a forward button. There's no ring on the back. This one's made from Max Ace. This is made of solid premium materials. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful double-edged dagger steel. It does have a super steel. I believe this one's in Magna Cut. Um, it might be M390, but I think it's in Magna Cut. But the blade, or sorry, not the blade, the handle is zirconium right here, which is a very expensive material. A titanium mill pocket clip. And then the body is a, like, I forget what it's called, but it's uh, like a... It's a type of steel that's made for like indestructible weapons and stuff. Um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it does have a nice coating over the entire thing. That's also um, like an extremely hard coating. It's not quite DLC, but it's really close to DLC. Then it has a glass breaker or attitude adjuster back there, you know, for launching into things. The spring action is really, really well done. This is pretty heavy. Now this one's super lightweight. In a little bit more budget materials, we have an aluminum handle, VG10 steel, titanium milled pocket clip, and this is Dagger Knives Mermaid. So, yeah, pretty cool. You know, um, I feel like this is something maybe, I don't know, maybe like a, a John Wick might carry or something, you know, with the OTFs. He definitely likes the, the automatic OTFs. But another one I think he would really like is a gravity knife, especially the locking version like this one. And right now you can actually buy the large one with a sheep's foot blade and a uh, bayonet style blade in the locking form. Now the large one, I don't think has a clip, but you can get the small or sorry, the medium and the small with not only a lock, but also a, a clip. So they don't make the non-locking ones anymore like the original one right here. The thing is, is that as long as you're holding this handle, it's not going to fold or do, well, it doesn't fold anyways, but it's not gonna do anything because all the pressure goes straight down to, to the titanium plate. So basically you're never feeling any pressure of it opening or anything like that. You can use barely any pressure squeezing it and it's not gonna do anything. The blade would have to snap to break. So in this case, now that it has a lock, as long as that lock is engaged, it, it's almost impossible for it to fail unless if this part right here snaps off or the blade snaps. But this is made in premium materials. This one right here is 3V. This one's in LMAX. Titanium handles. Both of these have burlap micarta. 
I do have another one with another type of inlay. They have all different kinds of inlays, um, a few different steels, um, three different sizes, multiple different blade shapes. So they even have Tontos, they have Dagger, the double-edged dagger like this one, which is kind of why I was saying, you know, about John Wick, because I just, I feel like, you know, he's some, somewhat of a double-edged dagger or bayonet style um, type of guy because the bayonets also are sharpened on the spine. So this is double-edged. There's an edge here and here. These are from Riat, the Riat EXOs. I do have, or the exoskeletons. I do have these linked down in the description for you guys. Everything I can will be linked down in the description. Now, unlike those that are OTF gravity knives, this is an out the side gravity knife. And this is the Asheville Knives Paragon Warlock. Also with a double-edged dagger, an S30V steel. This one's made in the USA. Aluminum handles, and what you do is you squeeze both sides right here and pinch it in. And then what it does is the scales open up and then it will, you know, you can swing it closed or open. You do have to get used to it because you can like stop it from opening if you squeeze down here. So you want to just squeeze right there and then launch it out. Once you get used to it, it's really good and very, very smooth, but it does take a little bit of a learning curve. Um, so most people are not going to be able to just to operate it perfectly, you know, the first time they, they get it in hand, but definitely something you see some sort of, um, superhero or villain carry. I should have said that. I should have said from the start, superhero or villain. And one more gravity knife. This thing is actually very cheap. I think these things are like 50 bucks and it is a, another gravity knife, but it's a non-locking gravity knife, but it does have a way to stay shut. This little bar that swings down covers it like that. So all you do is flick your wrist down and up or just swing up like that. And the blade will just naturally open up. So it'll basically swing open and then this thing will follow and return and lock it open. So as long as you're holding this, it is locked. And then to open it or to close it, you just push that little tab and let it fall. Now what's cool is you can do it in reverse too. And when you do it in reverse, you can also reverse it and close it. Um, it's really smooth when you're not under the camera where you can actually um, kind of um, close it uh, very, very effortlessly. Like it's, it's, pretty cool how this thing actually operates it's very fidgety very fun has really cool sounds and it's rapid man this thing opens up so fast it's one of the fastest deploying knives i probably have you know other than maybe like uh, um i mean all knives are fast these days guys all knives so i guess i can't even say that um even my my manual my slowest knives are really really fast unless they're slip joints but anyways this is the dragonfly um i'll try to link it down in the description i believe it's sold out at my affiliate link but just research it if it's not linked down there you guys go work hard stay tough until next time peace